Hi. <laughs> hi, my name is Zoe, and this is my channel. <laughs> if you knew her, hi. If you're coming back, that's surprising because I didn't know I had people who would come back to my YouTube channel. Anyways, so um, I attend Prairie View A&M University. It's HBCU in Texas. I'm pretty sure all of you know what the school is if you clicked on this video because you're trying to see what it looks like in the phases. And I will show you. I'm a sophomore. I lived in the dorms last year. Now I'm in phases one and two. I don't know the difference. They're in the same area. I think phases one is the first set of housing and then the second part is phases two they all look the same so I'ma just say I'm in phase one and two in this video I'm gonna show you the outside but it's currently raining right now it's raining outside right now so but I'm still gonna show you the outside before I got here and I was trying to like go on YouTube and see what this stuff looked like nobody did a good job with showing the house the apartment or the outside nothing so I'm gonna try to make sure I get everything so y'all don't have to like keep searching you can just find everything in this video I'm gonna show you the outside the living room the kitchen the bathroom and my room and anything else I want to show but for the most part that's it when you walk outside this is what you will see these are the other buildings and the parking lot and then right here is the direction to the stairs. The stairs are located outside and unfortunately I'm on the third floor again. PV needs to invest in some elevators because this is out of pocket but this is also another view of the third floor. So when you're downstairs this is what it will look like. And this is my building, building 21. This is the laundry room. Um, you have to fight for your life to get a washer and dryer here because people will be leaving their stuff in there for a long time. I don't know why it was so dirty in there that day, but if you leave your clothes in the washer, people will take them out and put them on top of the washer. So if you're washing, make sure to watch your stuff the entire time. This is where I'm normally at in the back. I like to sit there the entire time while I wash my clothes and dry them. Um, this is a little workout place. Nobody really be in there. I've never seen anybody in there. Okay, so this is, <laughs> why am I going so fast? These are the options for the washer. You get only one cent to wash your clothes you use it through an app this little blue patch thing you have you have to have the app in order to connect it and then you use that to wash your clothes this is what the inside looks like and then this is a dryer you also have to use the, the cold thing to use it um, it also is one cent and this is what the inside looks like I typically wash my clothes at 8 in the morning because that's the time where the dryers are free and nobody's in there. Um, this is a very small laundry room. The one I had at freshman year was actually way bigger than this one. This is a lounge area. I don't really, I've never sat there before, but it's cute or whatever, you know, it's a vibe. There's actually quite a few places like this on campus. Also another lounge place. It has a basketball court, but it's indoors. I didn't get to show you that part, but yeah. And this is just another overview of the laundry room. As you can see, it's only has like three sections, but it's very small. Lucky for me, I live right next to the laundromat. So this is my path back to my building, which is right there. These are the stairs, three flights. This is the way to my building. And now time for the actual apartment. This is the living room. The furniture comes with the apartment. This little table, the couches, the window, and this is the table, kitchen table. Kind of messy, don't mind it, don't mind it. It's not me, it's my roommate. This is what the microwave looks like oven and this is the refrigerator before we moved in this is what the refrigerator looked like i don't even really be in the kitchen like that i do not cook because the bro the freaking fire alarms are sensitive as heck and you can't cook nothing in, okay anyways this is the cabinet this is some cabinet space this is what the cabinet space looked like some more cabinet space this is side b and a this is not my side of the room so i will not be open in the bathroom but this is what the bathroom looks like real skinny okay now on to my side which is c and d this is my roommate this is my room but we're gonna go to the bathroom first this is the bathroom y'all it's way bigger than my freshman bathroom of course that's me okay okay this is the sink that's my side that's her side this is the mirror there's some cabinet space that's all 
her stuff. This is some little decorations, the toilet area. This is her side, my side. Our plan, you know, real cute, real cute. This is what the shower looks like. Don't mind that. It's not dirty. It's just a little, it's a little, it's a little something. I don't know what it is, but it's something, but it's not dirty, I promise. An overview of the bathroom one more time. Me and my roommates also hang up our towels on the wall. This is some storage space. Don't mind how messy that, what the, why am I going so fast? Wait, we just gonna continue. This is my room, y'all. You know, real cute, real cute, real simple. Okay, this is the bed, real nice, real cute. This is the little wall <laughs> decoration. Some more wall decorations. My clock area, my, not my clock area, this little nightstand. This is the uh, desk area, real cute. I got a mirror on my wall, cause last year the room came with sliding mirror doors, but they didn't have it this year, so I had to buy a mirror. I keep my keys by the door, it's my ID, I look ugly anyways. This is where I keep my stand because I didn't have nowhere else to put it, so I put it behind my TV. This is my trash can, the TV area. And then this is my tape street. I don't think that's what it's called. I don't know, poster thingy. Again, all the furniture comes with the apartment. This is a dresser. This is my pajama drawer. Just showing you what a drawer looks like. My t-shirt drawer. One, two, three, four drawers just in case you were wondering. My favorite places in my room is my shelf because it's so cute to me. I have my diffuser, and my essential oils in the back, my perfumes, my Givenchy, and my coat. Thank you, fake plant. This is my, okay, damn, the backpack is on the floor, okay. This is my mirrors. If you don't know a bitch that I don't have these mirrors, I'll give you a dollar because every bitch have these mirrors in their room. Um, they just little triangles. I got them from Urban Outfitters. Why am I going so fast? These are my pillows. So cute. All from Urban Outfitters, by the way. This desk, Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. All my decorations are from Urban Outfitters. This is also Urban Outfitters. This is my nightstand area next to my snack thing. Um, this is my clock. I got it from Urban Outfitters. This lamp from Target. This plant from Costco. Uh, I keep my remotes right here. This is my snack area. I keep all my snacks in this little cart thing. I got this from Target, by the way. There are some storage under the nightstand. I keep some of my stuff right here. This is my heater. I gotta keep it on me because I'm gonna need it and I'll be cold. There's a lamp next to the desk area. I don't really use it. It's one of my senior pictures. Keep my computer on my desk. Some more organization I put on my desk. These are some books I've never read. These are my vitamins. Next to it is my hair product basket thing. I keep my brush, my edge control, stuff like that. Next to it, I keep like deodorants and other random things in there. This is a plant I got. I don't even know where I got it from. I keep my stapler and my tape behind it because I didn't have nowhere to put it. Picture of me as a little baby. My LA hat, my speaker, my yearbooks. Some more pictures. The plan again. So happy this year that I got a window in my room because last year I had no sunlight and that bothered me. In the freshman dorms, the closet doors were mirrors. On this side, I keep my jean jackets and my hoodies with my pants at the bottom. At the top of my closet, I like to keep my body towels and my face towels organized so I know where they're at. These are some of my PV clothes. I bought them in the student store or you can get them online. On top of my pants is where I like to keep my everyday shoes and cheer shoes. I also keep my iron right there. This is my pants drawer. I have no more room. This is my laundry basket. And this is the other side of my closet. In this basket, I keep medicine, extra toothpaste, and things like that. I got this blanket from Marshalls. This is where I keep my iron board. These are all of my bigger jackets and sweaters. I keep it on this side. Under, I keep my shoes. This is my shoe rack. It has two sides. I keep a lot of my extra things under my bed. I keep my cheer stuff, my cheer uniforms under my bed. And then this is where I keep a lot of my storage units as well. Last but not least is the fan. You can turn the light and the fan on and off. 
how did I pick my housing and the roommates? I picked my housing through the school website. You go to PB, whatever, you click the housing, and you select which place you want to live in. I don't know what was wrong with me that day, but I don't know why I couldn't explain things well, but I'm gonna re-explain that. Okay, so to pick your housing, you would wanna go to whatever housing you choose. We're gonna use the phases, for example. So say you wanna go to phases, right? So you type in PVAMU phases, no. You type in PVAMU, Hold on, you type in PVAMU housing phases. No, you're gonna type in PVAMU phases housing. And you're gonna click on the website and then you're gonna type apply now. You're gonna fill out all your information, yada, yada, yada. If you get approved, they're gonna send you your lease. And then when they send you your lease, they're also gonna send you an email so you can pick your roommates. Now back to the video. There's many places you can live. You can live in the view, you can live in the square, you can live in the phases. Those are just some of the places you can live. There's a lot more places you can choose. And then for roommates, they send you an email and you have to sign up for that. That's how you select your roommates. You go through this app and it has like everybody you can room with. You do a questionnaire first and then they match you with people who are similar to you if they add their socials on there they'll take you directly to their Instagram or their Twitter or anything like that so that's how you pick your roommates I feel like I didn't explain this well either so I'm gonna re-explain it so for the roommate situation again from the lease when they send you the lease they also send you an email that has the link for the app that you can choose your roommates you download the app whatever and then you fill out the questionnaire so it's gonna ask you like what hours do you go to sleep how do you like to study how clean are you things like that and then other people People will pop up that are similar to what you answer and then you're gonna search through the app select who you want to pick and if they put their social media on there it will take you directly to their Instagram you can look through their page Instagram tell you a lot about a person so I would advise you to look through their Instagram and look through their socials yeah that's how you meet them and then y'all paired up and then y'all move in and that's it all right bye back to the video I get along with my roommates I didn't know none of them at all before I roomed with them I did it last minute so I was nervous about that I was nervous about picking who my roommates were gonna be but it turned out well and we all get along well i mean we're not like besties but you know we hang out sometimes okay so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to ask me i showed you the laundry room i showed you the outside i showed you the living room I showed you the kitchen i showed you the bathroom and i showed you my room i hope you get a gist of what the room actually looks like because to be honest the website don't do a good job of like showing you pictures of what the room actually looks like so hopefully this video helped you um what else i have nothing else to say you're, you're thinking about coming to prayer view Come on, just just come. Be honest, the phases is not the best place to live. You know, there's better, newer apartments like the square and the view and phases three and six. That's a good place to live too. They call this the ghetto low key. I shouldn't even be shitting on this place, but if you live here, you know, it's cool. It's not too bad, you know? You do have to share a bathroom. It's only two bathrooms. It's four roommates, two bathrooms. That's what I forgot to tell y'all. You gotta share it with the person on your side. It's not that bad, but I do want my own bathroom which i will be getting next year so i'm not even too worried about it you know this semester is almost over it's literally it's november it's actually thanksgiving today i'm filming this on thanksgiving i didn't go home because i'm from california and i have a game do y'all care no i'm about to tell my life story y'all don't care it's okay more story is it's thanksgiving and um what was the point of me saying thing? you know what it's time for me to wrap this up um i hope i helped y'all out that's it and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next video.